think we're live. So oh. if we're coming through and the feed is good, then hello and welcome to Awesome Hardware episode 15. I am Kyle and uh, usually I, I co-host the show with my buddy Paul, but he is away on business right now in Taiwan uh, for Computex 2015 doing all that fun business. I hope he doesn't get deathly ill over there uh, from being overseas. He's not a fan of seafood, so God help him. Uh, mm -hmm. But in his place, I have with me a very awesome person. Uh, this is Matt Philly. Matt, how's it going? Oh, it's it's going. It's it's definitely going. It's always going. And Matt, yeah. uh, for for I know a lot of people in chat already know who you are and what you do. But for those of us who don't, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and where people can find you as well? Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, a lot of people know me as Swashin or the Pimp. Cause not not really. I just made that up now. The Pimp part. But uh, yeah, I course. do pimp my setup. You know, I've had a lot of cool people on like. Your name's Kyle, right? No. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I've, had, I've had you on, Paul on, Linus, all those people, which is basically how people find me. But uh, people submit setups, and then um, it's kind of the same thing as this. It's it's kind of funny how that works out. No, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. You, like, okay. So let's let's just lay the, the rumors to rest. If there's any <laughs> uncertainty, Matt started the Pimp My Thing first. I mean, I, I mean technically MTV did. With, yeah. with Pimp My Ride, but Matt has been doing his show, Pimp My Setup, on YouTube.com slash TV if you want to check it out, for way longer than Paul and I have been doing. I actually contacted Matt, uh, DM'd him through Twitter, and was like, hey, dude, we've got this great idea for a show. It's basically your show. <laughs> but instead of desk setups, we use PCs. Is it cool if we do it? And uh, and you were so gracious to to give us your blessing, and that, that really meant a lot. And, well, uh, and yeah, I mean, not that it, it, it wouldn't really have mattered regardless, but it was a nice gesture for him to ask. So I appreciate that. But, uh, yes. as long as I'm not getting sued by MTV, I think we're all good. That's really what Yeah, matters. exactly. Right. I'm still waiting for that, uh, subpoena <laughs> yeah, yeah. soon, soon. <laughs> Some hairy man shows up at my door. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I like, like, uh, Matt was saying, I was a special guest on his show. Oh, I don't know. Month, month or two ago. And, um, super fun show. And by the way, thank you for not giving me the discourtesy of showing up like three hours late like I did on your show. I was like literally th like three or two or three hours late to his show. And <laughs> I'm, st great. I'm still so sorry about that. But uh, all good. you've been very punctual. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. But I think, oh, I even, I don't know if you have the stream up right now, but I even created this little text to go under your name. Boom. Mm. Might be a little delay there. But uh, there's his uh, Twitter handles, uh, Matt, at Matt Philly, at Pimp My Setup, as well as his YouTube handle, Swatch and TV. Please go check him out. He is super awesome. He does great work, uh, oh. super high quality stuff, and good streams as well. Um, but this, going back to the show itself and the format, we're going to be switching it up because uh, of Matt's background and what Matt does. I figured it'd be kind of cool if we did a special extended Pimp My PC segment for this episode. So we're going to be taking a look at many more of your systems than we usually do on, on a single given show. And uh, Matt and I are going to be critiquing it and... Um, and poking around, giving you guys advice and suggestions on how you can really pimp it out and make it look uh, the way it's supposed to. Um, but, uh, Matt, I know you recently built a PC yourself, haven't you? Yeah, my first ever build, and it's an X99. So, you nice. know, starting big, I like that. And it, it's oh, it's just, you can't even hear it. It's so quiet, yep. it's beautiful, and I, I've had it for a month, and it's just been amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, we all, we all like it big here on Awesome Hardware, so we're glad you feel the same way. <laughs> Yeah. But you, you actually, um, you streamed your entire build live, didn't you, on Twitch? Yeah, yep, all 37 hours of it, straight. No wow. sleep. No, no, it was not 37 okay. hours. Yeah, it, it was like maybe six or seven, but that's only because I listen to the community, which can be great, but also terrible, so... Yeah, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, Twitch plays Pokemon, right? Where everyone yeah, in chat exactly. is, is doing, but it's like Twitch builds Matt's computer, and because yep. of that, it takes like five times longer than it, it should have. Um, yeah. But that's super cool. That's definitely a, a cool experience for for your first PC. That's that's definitely mm -hmm. uh, memorable, um, yeah. to say the least. But uh, okay, first first off, before we jump right into it, um, there's a couple things I wanted to to, to go with uh, to start off with. Uh, first off is just quick announcements. Uh, the first of which being. Paul and I are still se selling shirts. Uh, if you want to go check out our merch store, you can go to awesomesaucenetwork.com slash store and buy a shirt. I'm running out of a lot of the sizes. It's been really popular lately, but I will be restocking soon. So uh, I know there's a lot of mediums out there, uh, a lot of mediums who are struggling uh, and, and don't have shirts on at this very moment. <laughs> uh, but uh, they will be back in stock pretty soon. 
also, Paul is still selling stuff as well. He just got a new uh, inventory stock supply of these English pub glasses, as well as some mugs. He's got a new logo on there as well. Looks really nice. It's a, it's a thumb screw. Very fancy stuff uh, for, for reasonable prices as well. So go ahead and check it out at paulshardware.net. So, uh, yeah, just got to do that shameless plug right there. And uh, before we, we jump right into... Um, I guess I guess the the thick of it with uh, with all these PCs that you guys have sent in, uh, which look great by the way. Uh, I kind of want to break the ice a bit, uh, for, especially for those of you who have questions for Matt, and open it up to a Q and A right from the get go, uh, so they can ask you or me questions. I know people are probably tired of me and sick of me by now, uh, but <laughs> if you guys have any questions, particularly for Matt or myself, uh, go ahead and fire away in chat, and we will be answering them to the best of our ability. Uh, but uh, to, you know, there's a bit of a delay, so while they're generating ideas and stuff in chat, I have a question for you. How has life been since you quit Best Buy? Because you quit Best Ooh. Buy pretty recently. Yeah, yeah. It's it's almost uh, coming up on a month. And whew, let's just say before the show, I was chilling in my hot tub. You know, <laughs> life was pretty good because I could I could make my own schedule. And it's, you know, it's not easy, obviously, especially when you're still under 20 because you're considered like a kid to these companies where you're trying to get sponsors and stuff. But for the most part, I love it. And um, I just, I need to get more videos going and whatnot, but it's nice to, to not be in retail and have people throwing bags at you and cursing at you for return policies. So, so far pretty good. I like it. It seems like you're in a much less abusive environment now <laughs> exactly. uh, than you yeah. were until you read the YouTube comments and then it's like twice as abusive. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's awesome, dude. Uh, that, that's, that's definitely a big step. Um, I oh, remember yeah. when I resigned from my full-time job at Newegg, it was like one of the most difficult things I, I ever had oh, to yeah. do. You know, it was just like, there's no turning back at that point. And, you know, and you, you don't, you just don't know what's around the corner or if it's going to succeed or fail. All you can do is yep. try. But I feel like uh, the fear of not knowing, um, you know, if, if you really reach your potential or, you know, explore that possibility is almost worse than, than failing, uh, you know, in, in some respects. Exactly. Um, 2015 you gotta you gotta try new things that's right that's right it's, it's a modern age we're we're all supposed to you know take risks and you know it's we have the internet on our side i think that's one yeah. thing that uh, people back then you know a couple generations ago didn't really have we can we can make a living online and it's like well i i like being online even when i'm not working so this, this seems like the perfect job for me I, yeah I don't, don't, don't even have to wear pants most of the time i'm it's not amazing. wearing pants any right now actually yep. so and neither are you, I'm sure. Uh, you got me. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a we'll do a full, you know, from the waist down tour. Uh, we'll save that for the end though, because people will stick around for that. Um, all right. So, what, what questions have we got in here? And if you see any questions in chat uh, as well, Matt, feel free to fire them off. Um, okay. Let's see. How, oh, uh, someone, uh, Fractal Josh asked, uh, "How is the iJustine book so far, Matt?" Uh, well, um, as you would assume, Josh. Still have not opened it, but I'm planning on it, maybe. Otherwise, it's just going to go sit with Steve like you assumed. So, yep, it, that's going to happen. Is it kind of like an autobiography or a memoir type thing? or? Yeah, yeah, it's a memoir. So it's it's basically just how she got to where she is today, which is pretty cool because she's pretty successful. And she follows me on Twitter, so awesome. hit me up, Justine, you know. <clears throat> nice, yeah, right? Matt's single. Hey-o. Yeah, you know. I'm Everyone here. in chat is now disappointed, but that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, anyone in chat, sorry, you don't have a chance against iJustine. We all yeah. know who Matt's going with. That's true. Uh, what else we got here? Um, let's see. Uh, looks like someone was talking about my mic flag. Yeah, it has a logo on it. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Where'd you get that? That's really nice. Uh, Amazon's like $8 for the plastic part, and then I just printed my logo out on photo paper. Nice. And I just taped it on there because that's how ghetto i am but it works so. it, it it looks way less ghetto than the setup that we have here so <laughs> kudos to you for that it definitely adds kind of like a more professional look like wow that that guy knows yeah, what he's, he's doing oh like, he means business <laughs> he means he's, he's got a flag you see the flag <laughs> the deciding factor between amateur and professional exactly yeah uh, okay what else we got here come on guys fire off some questions oh i should be ch checking my twitter as well sometimes people like to uh ask in twitter Hmm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> some people ask questions that i'm just like i can't say that on stream come on guys <laughs> you know that's not gonna get get pushed it's like 90 percent of them too how do you use your camera as a webcam i mean <laughs> technically you would just need you know a video cable going out if, if it supports it um 
I, I have a Black Magic capture card in my stream box that I, that we're running this whole shindig with right now, uh, and I've got uh, the camcorder that Paul bought recently specifically for this show. It's just got a mini HDMI to regular HDMI out uh, going into the back Black Magic card, and um, OBS pretty much takes care of the rest in, in that arena. So, not Magic. too difficult. I don't see any like hard hitting questions. You know, life changing. Right, right. Uh, I don't either. Come on, guys. You guys aren't drunk enough yet to <laughs> drop your inhibitions and just ask us all the random shits. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Matt, from your experience, what is the best store to buy a PC desk? Ooh. Um, oh, God. I I'm going to get so much hate for saying it. Ikea, because where else are you going to do it? Um, but honestly, I would also say you don't need to, to buy it from, you know, like a store. You can go to, like, Home Depot and just get, like, a granite countertop, you know, do it yourself and make it work. Yep, that's Yolo. very true. Probably save some uh, save some cash if you, you do it yourself as well. Exactly. Every yeah. money, every dollar saved building a desk is another dollar into your PC. Which, you know, considering uh, the show is called Pin My PC right now, yeah, it's kind of a big deal. Exactly. Just just don't leave your PC on the floor, whatever you do. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. There's there's some interesting pictures that we're going to take a look at later. <clears throat> Great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I just recently put mine up on my desk. I, I have hardwood floors anyway, but I, I like it up on my desk, so. Yep. Nice. Safe and sound. Uh, what headphones are those? Uh, probably asking both of us. So, Matt, wh what do you got there? Uh, these are Brainwaves HM9. Brainwaves? I don't think I've heard of them, or I haven't had much experience with them. Are they oh, uh, pretty good? so good. Nice. So good. They're, they're literally like the, the opposite, um, like the, the good version of Beats, basically. Okay, and nice. And a lot cheaper, so it's good. Yeah. That's that's good. I was going to ask. Yeah. They, I, hopefully they're cheaper than Beats. Yeah, they're like a hundred and some bucks. Like, not not bad at all. So they're they're cheaper than Beats, but sound better, which is like all headphones. Yeah, basically, and nice. really good build quality. They, they kind of resemble the Beats, I guess. Yeah, definitely. They, they seem a bit compact. Are they pretty comfortable as well? Oh yeah, I, I could sit here for like thirteen hours straight. Sweet, because that's uh -huh. how long the stream is. So um, great. <laughs> hopefully you're in <laughs> Put it for it to the, the long haul. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm wearing some DT880 Pros from Biodynamic, uh, German engineered, uh, open back design, super good studio headphones. I uh, use them for editing, gaming. They're they're really comfy. Velour pads and stuff. Uh, okay, what else we got here? Uh, HTC Vive or Oculus CV1. I I actually don't know too much about either of those. I was gonna say the same thing. I'm like, oh, this is one of those awkward things already. We're getting. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I I know I know very briefly about them, but uh, I haven't done enough research on them yet to to give an opinion one way or the other. Um, and you never want to do that. You never want to give your opinion online when you're not well informed, because yeah. then you just get it's a shitstorm of of trolls and and, yeah. and haters. Or you could just pull a Matt Philly and say both. Both. Just confuse the shit out of them. Equal completely. opportunity. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, devil's advocate and say neither. Oh, see, there you go. Both, both sides. Both. What are you gonna do? Both horrible. <laughs> uh, okay. Question, um, Kyle. What's your favorite system you've built to date? Ooh. Oh man, that's that's really tough actually, because. Well, do it. Because <laughs> I built asking. I built a lot. Um, <laughs> favorite one I've built ever. Man, it's it's really tough to beat your first. Mm. It really is, just because there's that whole dreaded dreading feeling of if it'll work, <laughs> uh, and I think that makes the the moment when it finally turns on and actually does work a lot more satisfying. Um, cause after that, it's like, you know, it's like riding a bike. It's yeah. like, well, it was, no one's ever been like, yeah, it was the 50th, 53rd time riding my bicycle that really got to me. No, it's always like your first time when you finally yeah. get it. Uh, I think that's the, at least the most memorable and probably the most, um, impactful build that, that I've experienced and, uh, life changing, life changing, <laughs> life changing. Um, I would totally agree, considering I've only done one build. So it's also really. the first build for Matt as well. Yes, <laughs> that would make sense. Uh, what else we got here? All right, just a couple more, and then we'll move on to the good stuff. Um, don't know what that means. I guess something fun I can mention is tomorrow I'm getting uh, a nice package in the morning. And not okay. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Keeping a PG here, meant. Matt. Keeping yeah, a PG. Um, I'm getting a delivery from UPS. That's better. Right? Jesus, there the UPS guy. <laughs> You're all you over know. the place, buddy. Yeah. Um, what is it though? What, what's in I'm this getting, package? 
two very nice brand new displays. So I'm getting rid of my Ooh. triple display setup, 27 uh, AOC displays, and I'm getting, I haven't really said, but let's just say they're ultra wide and they're brand spanking new. Ooh. I'm getting two of them. Yeah, nice. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty good. That's so pretty I'm excited. awesome. Are, they, yeah. uh, are those going to be uh, your, your new primary monitors, I'm guessing? Yep, yep. I'm actually uh, being a really good brother and giving all of my three displays to, to my little brother, so you better appreciate that shit. Wow, you have a brother? <laughs> He's like the luckiest brother in yeah. the world. Yeah, so, yep, he better be happy. All the other brothers in the world are just getting their older brother's socks and, like, oh, shirts yeah, exactly. that don't fit them anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. That's that's pretty awesome. But uh, are you going to be doing uh, any video coverage on those monitors? We uh, want to oh, yeah. check them out. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow I should have a video up of me just setting them up and whatnot, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. It's going to be dope. Very cool. Uh, it says, when you're doing your unboxings and reviews, how many video recording devices do you have filming from different views at the same time? Uh, I only do single camera. Um, I'm not sure about Matt, but I only have one camera recording at the same time. Unless I'm doing a build, then sometimes I'll have, like, two cameras set up. I think the most I've ever had was like three, but that was for uh, a web series that I did back in the day for uh, system config. But usually it's just one. I, yeah. I record one section of a video at a time. I do all my teleprompter stuff, uh, talking to the camera, and then separately I'll record all the sexy B-roll shots of the hardware and things like that. Pretty yeah, much that, like you. That's how it should be done. Yeah. yeah. Just Sick. one. I mean, Why be like all professional, you know, like. <laughs> It's, it's, it's just a matter of bandwidth, too. Like, who's going to be manning the other cameras? Yeah. It's just, you know, for you and me, it's just, it, that's it. This is the entire camera crew, you know? I can only press so many things with so many <laughs> hands. Um, yeah. So that's just what works, I guess, uh, for now, you know? Once we, once we get to Linus status, we'll have, like, an entire camera crew. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That works. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's, let's see. Oh, this is a good one for you, Matt. What was the one life-changing moment in your life that started you down the road of being a professional YouTuber? Um, uh, I honestly, I, I always had to throw it back to uh, to Barnclays. He found me, and he's like, "Put me on your show," and I was like, "Okay." Like, I didn't even know who he was, to be quite honest. Um, but I was like, "Yeah." And then after that, you know. Whoo and, and then obviously things like Linus and this guy Kyle just whoosh, threw me through the roof. And uh, yeah, no, it's just don't have that guy back on. on again. Yeah, I was took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, I would just say getting someone you know big like Jerry to to kind of be someone that believes in what I do. So that's pretty cool. That's that's definitely got to be pretty um pretty damn encouraging. I think. Oh yeah. When someone like so much bigger than you notices potential in what you're doing it's just like whoa like it, it opens up doors and, and makes you think like wow i can actually do this if this guy who's already successful thinks i can yeah then it's definitely obtainable exactly um, plus he just in his video yesterday was wearing my shirt uh when he was painting and he basically he was talking smack he's like oh i don't want to get my good shirts dirty so i'm wearing my pit my son <laughs> i was like thank you i appreciate that <laughs> in, in typical barnacles fashion yeah exactly <laughs> brilliant Awesome. I actually didn't know that. I actually didn't know that he was like your first big um, uh, co-host or whatever for the show or guest, and yeah. that mm -hmm. uh, and that he contact contacted you. That's that's awesome. Yeah, it Jerry, was, it was Jerry's crazy. a cool guy. Yeah, totally. And uh, let's see. Let's do one more question for Matt. Don't, don't, don't. Come on. Ooh, what about uh, this? Is actually, just in general, I didn't even know this was a thing. Steam doing refunds. Is that a thing? Is that real? I, I briefly heard about this. Um, I Well, the last Steam refund I heard was for the mods. Like, when people were paying for mods, when, when Steam tried to do the whole paid mods thing, uh, people bought some mods, and I guess Steam at some point said that they were um, going to give people refunds for the mods because they realized paid mods were, were a bad idea. I think that's pretty much the story, but... Um, Interesting. Uh, you know, Steam, Steam definitely is one to listen to their audience um and they don't mm. take what they say lightly uh you know they're their business and they're trying to profit like any other business but i think they they understand that the only reason why they're successful is because they've been catering to their audience a, a certain way um mm. and their their voices are being heard so uh I, sounds yeah, good to me that's I, i'm not too surprised that steam would would be given refunds for like that for something like that if they felt 
uh, gamers had a right. Uh, gamers, you know, were justified in, in, in that cause. Sure. Um, but that's super cool. All right, cool. Thank you guys so much for the questions. Uh, we're going to shift gears here, and let's just start taking a look at some of these PCs because we've got quite a few of them to go through. We're already about 20 minutes into the show. I'm going to try to keep it an hour long uh, just, just to be respectful of Matt's time and your guys' time at Well at Home. But let's just see how many we get through here. Uh, so first off, let's go to this one from Brandon. Brandon sends in his system, uh, which is in a half XB. There it is right there, sitting pretty. Now, we were just talking, Matt, we were just talking about having a desk to put your computer on and not putting it on the floor uh, yeah. at all costs. <laughs> uh, Brandon's kind of taken like a hybrid approach. It's not really on the floor, but it's not on a desk either. He's got wooden pallets. Um, underneath yeah. his system, and I'm not sure if that's where he keeps his system regularly, or if, or if that's just where it is. You know, he, I, and I don't know why he'd have pallets in his room. Um, <laughs> may, maybe his room is a warehouse. Could <laughs> be. You never know. You never, you never know. know. Uh, but you know, at, at, the, at the very least, it's not on the carpet. I will say that it, it might oh, not yeah. be the prettiest thing to look at, but it is more functional than than the damn carpet getting sucking in all that dust and. Uh, foot debris. Ugh, I like to call it foot oh, debris. Don't say it like that. That what, just ruins it. I know. It, it's supposed to ruin it. It's supposed <laughs> yeah. to ruin it for everyone. Um, <laughs> but let's take a look at what he's got inside. So under the hood, we've got an air cooler here. It looks like uh, maybe a, a Hyper 212 Evo from, from uh, Cooler Master, but he's definitely put some, uh, slapped on some Corsair fans there, which look pretty nice. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Here's a better picture, um, a top-down view. Uh, so Matt, like the way the half XB, I've never actually physically built in one before, but okay. um, from my understanding, like half the components are, it's basically a cube. It's a cube shaped um, case that uh, the motherboard mounts uh, horizontally instead of vertically. Uh, and it's kind of got two platforms or two floors, if you will. It's like a two-story house. So on the top story, you've got your motherboard, uh, CPU, and, and GPU, and things like that. And on the bottom are the less attractive components, like your power supply, uh, hard drives, and, and things of that nature, where you can kind of keep most of your cables. So it's supposed to be a really good um, case for cable management, as well as uh, promote really healthy airflow. As you can see, he's got two intake fans there off to the right. Um, but this is a, I mean, I don't know. I, I think there could be some work done with the cable management. Um, it kind of looks like you've got a nice sound card there, but I feel like it's just kind of the cables routing a little bit too far. Uh, you definitely want to cut down the visible length of your cables. Uh, if you can see like a, a long distance, a long part of your cable or a large chunk of your cable, it's typically not favorable on the eyes, um, and in most cases these days, I know especially the half XB, uh, offer solutions around that, so you don't have to expose so much of your cable. Uh, there might be another way that you can route it around. I can kind of see um, towards the bottom there, you might be able to shortcut it. Um, I don't know if, you know, maybe you had to take the long route uh, or, or have to um, route it to the right side because maybe your cable wasn't long enough to route underneath you know we don't know the full story here all we can do is, is make judgments based on what we see from the pictures um, but apart from that I think you also would need to clean this system uh, yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> it seems like, like I can see fingerprints like on the on the motherboard um, the motherboard panel or whatever the motherboard tray I should say uh, there's mm -hmm. fingerprints like made in the dust like you know it's it's great for for crime scenes if you want to like you know <laughs> stop a, a burglar in his tracks and you know get the <laughs> dust the fingerprints off or whatever but all together it looks like you haven't cleaned this thing in about six to eight months possibly um, which I think is just too long uh, these days especially if you're gonna be using this thing every day which a lot of us are um, and that generates a lot of dust you know uh, I'm probably it's half of the dust that came with those two two wooden pallets is probably now in your <laughs> system so you have to make sure to like get that stuff out every now and then um, but uh, apart from that, I, I don't see anything glaringly wrong with it, other than the cable management. Uh, definitely, I think this. Uh, I think this is the, um, the eight-pin PCI. Oh no, that's what is that? I think that's a CPU cable. Whether it's a CPU cable or the twenty-four pin, that could be tucked away. I think if you zip tie that, it just kind of looks like it's flopping all over the place. It looks very loose. Uh, and I, I understand that you know it's it's on the first floor of the case and it's not going to be visible from from uh, from any other point of view unless you were to take the actual enclosure off. But uh, just just you know for for principle's sake uh, for tidiness, um, it, I don't know. It feels good to to know that all of your cables are tucked away. Um, 
because even, even though no one else can tell it's like one of those things yeah. where like oh i don't i don't care and people try to reassure you like oh it's not a big deal i don't mind and you're like i don't, I don't even notice it and you're like but i notice it and that's the problem i don't care if anyone else notices it uh so it's kind yeah. of one of those things uh here's a shot of it lit up in the dark which looks really nice uh, i definitely like how he's matched his fans together um you know what i mean i i think that that kind of makes a more cohesive theme to it uh, a bit of a color scheme there I can't tell if they're blue. I think they're blue. In this picture, they look completely purple. But based on the fact that he's got a blue, uh, or, I'm sorry, a motherboard with like blue heat sinks and stuff, I'm guessing that they're they're blue LED fans. But uh, altogether, pretty nice build. Did you have anything else to say about this one, Matt? I, I honestly just think that it's a badass looking case. Like I it really, is. really like that. It's so different, and and that's yeah. to me, someone that likes the the look of you know everything, not even inside but outside. That looks great in a setup and. Yeah, it's just, it's really dusty, especially the outside of the case. It, it's killing me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so. th there's definitely something to be said about dust in a case that has such good airflow, too, because it's bringing mm -hmm. so much air in constantly, especially he's got, I think that's probably a 200 millimeter uh, fan up there at the top, which, you know, that's that's pulling a lot of stuff. Anything that, you oh, know, yeah. gets tossed off of the, the left side of your desk probably falls right into there. Um, and, uh, yeah, go ahead and clean that sucker. Definitely manage them cables and you should be good to go so thanks for sending that in brandon uh next up we've got something from something weird uh that's <laughs> i'm not try, i'm not making a joke or anything that's his, his twitter handle is something that's weird a great way to start off <laughs> yeah exactly uh but his system doesn't look too weird it actually looks pretty decent he he definitely has some uh good robust hardware in there uh he's got two winforce cards those might be uh I don't know what those are, 780s maybe, I, I'm not too sure, but uh, he's got him in SLI, looks pretty solid, again, with the dustiness, there's just too much dust in this system that, that leads me to believe it's been way too long since you last cleaned it, um, I think, uh, I think you've, again, you've got a lot of air cooling in here, I think those are two 140 millimeter fans at the front, uh, and this is, this is a, an Air 2, no, I'm sorry, an Air 540 case, I think, uh, just just because you know you notice Matt how you don't see like a power supply um, yeah I was gonna say I think it's because it's on the other side so you kind of like af after seeing so many cases you realize like most cases are just like uh, the, you could they can be categorized in certain genres or you know class classes or whatever um, mm -hmm. and this is almost kind of like if you think about it like the half XB but on its side uh, where you've got you know the the second floor it's just the house that has now been turned on its side. Yeah. Um, and you've got a vertically mounted motherboard, uh, but still all of your messier components are in the back, which you would think leads to cleaner cable management. And for the most part, this is definitely better cable management than we saw in the last system. Uh, I think certain things stand out to me more than others, like uh, like the, uh, I think that's an 8-pin, I think your 8-pin PCIe, I'm sorry, I keep saying, saying PCIe, but your 8-pin um, CPU connector uh, up there on the top right is just, it just looks a little... I don't know, how it's a little out of place, how it's crossing over the RAM there. Uh, if you could maybe tuck that away a little bit better. Um, also, I like how kind of blacked out this thing is. Um, yeah. It looks very, like, simple and minimalistic. Um, again, if you clean it up and, and shine it up, it'll look way, like, a million times better. But I think maybe those uh, PCIe cables that are going into your video cards are kind of throwing me off a little bit just because of the red connectors. I feel like that those red accents kind of demand a little bit more red in the system. Yep. Um, for example, if you maybe had like some, some of those Corsair uh, airflow fans that have like the interchangeable rings on them that, you know, they can be either be switched to blue or red. Um, if you had some fans like that, just to give it a little bit more uh, accent, I think, to, to match those PCIe connectors, that would be pretty sweet. Or you can just get some extensions, like some nice black sleeved extensions from uh, Silverstone or Bit Phoenix or something like that, or sleeving yourself, uh, and swap them out for those uh, stock flat uh, flat cables with the with the red connectors, and and just make it all black, black it out. Yeah, I agree. Cause the the red is like, it's like why why is there like a theme? Cause I don't know. Maybe does he have lights that we don't see? Cause you know he only point. gave us one photo. There's not much to go off of, but it's so out of place. Normally, you know you see too much of a color where it's like whoa that's overwhelming. But this is like it's just it's out of place so i would definitely decide are you going all black or are you going to add some red into it so yep. i agree yep definitely uh but altogether nice looking system uh something weird <laughs> i still the, the i still like that name is weird yeah 
<laughs> now, now I see why he did it. There you now go. I see why that's his name. Uh, thank you for sending that in, though. Uh, next up, we've got Anthony. Um, Anthony's sending in his, uh, his R9 290X system. He's got an AMD 8350 uh, Core V51. This is a pretty nice looking system. Uh, first off, we can take a look at what it looks like in the dark with all the lights on. So we know here that he definitely does have some red LEDs going. Yeah. Uh, and so we kind of know like what kind of theme he's going for. Um, That's how the other one should have been. If you have yeah. that red, it, you know, at, even with the lights off, you could see the red kind of flow through the whole PC. Right, so. exactly. Uh, and that, that's maybe that's maybe something I should start doing, like having people send in not just pictures of their rigs in the daylight, but also maybe a shot of it at night or in yeah. a dimly lit environment if they do have things like LEDs, um, because that might change, you know, what what Paul or I or you might say about it uh, when we're Definitely. giving suggestions and things like that. Um, yeah. But altogether, this looks nice in, in the dim in the dimness of the night. Uh, but here, let's take a look at uh, a brighter picture. You can definitely kind of see a bit more here. Um, I like how you've gone the extra mile and uh, sleeved your own cables. I'm pretty sure that that's uh, that's self self done. Uh, they don't look like you bought them anywhere because they're they're actually different. The the red striping in the PCIe cables is a bit different than the the ATX cable on the side there. So I think you did that yourself. So kudos to you. That's definitely um, that's definitely a tall order uh, to to sleeve your own cables like that. So. Uh, good effort there. Uh, looks like you've got enough room in your case. It doesn't look like anything's competing for space at this point. Um, I see a couple hard drives there in your cages, uh, on the bottom cage anyway. The top cage, I don't see any drives in it. Maybe there's an SSD or something, but it just kind of looks like you're housing more cables in there. Um, and if that's the case, maybe try to route those behind the motherboard tray. Uh, that's that's a pretty big, substantial looking case. I think you'll you'll probably have some extra room for cables back there. Um, but again, a, a lot of these boil down to cable management, and Matt, this is probably something that I know this is something that you deal with a lot on the channel, even though you don't work with PCs directly, you're mm -hmm. still constantly talking about cable management uh, when it comes to people's monitors and keyboards and mice and, and computers as well, uh, mm -hmm. and it's just amazing like how much of a difference that, that alone makes. Oh, it changes everything. I mean, imagine this picture with bad cable management. I mean, it's... It's really not that bad in this uh, this PC at all, um, but just imagine with it like all over the place, it kills it. But when it's all nice and clean and it's got that nice accent lighting and the red all over, it just makes it look like that's hot. That's like you know that's they're, they're gonna put that on their website, you know, selling the case. Exactly. That's how nice it is. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yep, very nice. Uh, so all in all, I don't have too much to say. If you really wanted to get nitpicky about it, um, what you could do is, and this is one thing that I. Like, it's so nitpicky, but it's one thing that I, like, is a pet peeve of mine with uh, Corsair coolers is their Corsair Link cable, uh, which is this little cable off to the left uh, sticking out of the, the water block there. Um, it just it just adds another cable is, is the, really the problem yeah. that I have with it. And usually it's located, like, on the side. Uh, I wish that Corsair would actually put the port right next to the fan ports so that you could sleeve them all together uh, and kind of bind them, but they don't. It's off to the side. I'm sure there's engineering reasons behind that, and that's fine. Um, so what we, what I would do as a builder, uh, if I was really being uh, picky or whatever, and being super precise, is I'd probably route this, um, the Corsair Link cable over to the the uh, two fan cables you have there, and just zip tie them together. So it just looks like one slightly thicker cable instead of two separate cables going in different directions. Uh, I think that'll mm -hmm. really make it look a bit. Um, a bit tidier overall, and uh, you know, it's it's the CPU. It's like the main thing that people look at. It's the, one of the first things that people look at when they look into your side panel window. Um, so try to keep that as clean as possible if you can. Uh, but I do like this um, the setup here. I like how you have a bottom mounted fan just pointed straight at your video card right at the bottom of the case. Very thoughtful. Uh, and apart from that, oh, other thing I caught is. I would probably swap out that optical drive in the top right for a black one. Um, Paul and Ooh. I were kind of talking about this on a previous show. We were like, yeah, well, I don't know why all the optical drives are beige. And then someone in chat reminded us that they do have black ones. I think Asus has a black one. And then I was like, oh, duh, I have one of those. Uh, it's just been forever since I actually had to use it, obviously. Um, but they do have black ones, and they're dirt cheap. I mean, even if you get a Blu-ray one, you can probably get it for 40 50 bucks. 50 uh, Just swap that out. The beige, honestly, is the only thing that clashes drastically with, with this setup. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. But other than that, nice Ooh. job, Anthony. Well done. Well played, sir. All right. Next up, we got Michael. And uh, <clears throat> this is Michael's system. 
I think he might have sent this in. Uh, now that I look at it, this this might be a repeat, but I think he's made some improvements since then, um, uh, particularly in cable management. Let's okay. take a look here. Uh, definitely has a strong theme going. I like the blue theme. Um, obviously, he's got two cards in SLI, and they're not matching. One's a reference design cooler on the bottom, and the one on top is a... Uh, I think it's EVGA or... I think it's EVGA or XFX. I'm not sure. Um, but I I think I remember him telling us that he got the, the reference card on sale, like a killer deal. Uh, it was either a 780 or 780 Ti or something, and he just couldn't say no. And I, I would have done the same thing. If you get a really good deal, it doesn't matter what it looks like, just buy the damn thing. Uh, you're yeah. getting a steal. <laughs> um, but I don't know if there's any way that you could possibly get uh, that same cooler that you have on the top card maybe buy it after market from the manufacturer and install it on the reference card because that would look a lot better. I mean, just functionally, this is this blows my computer out of the water, uh, chances are. But if you're talking about pimping, can't have no mismatching cards now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, seriously, what? Got to match that up. But, um, yeah, that's probably easier said than done. But, uh, you know, yeah. depends well, on... Well, he also, he made a good point because he said he should probably get a new case because that, yes. that's the first thing when i look at that i'm like wow good job fitting all that yeah <laughs> exactly like a the, clown car you know yes it is it is and there's there's too many clowns in it uh i think uh that that definitely is true like there's in this system it looks like the components are competing for space um mm-hmm. it, it really looks like they they might be starved for a bit of airflow because they're all so close to each other even whatever airflow they do get is probably just more hot air because of the other component that's sitting right next to it is warming up the ambient temperatures inside the case or the in-case temperatures. Um, so yeah, a 780T, I mean, that's that's like the polar opposite of this case. 780T is huge. I mean, you can go EATX and it still looks like a mini ITX board uh, in comparison. <laughs> it's just so cavernous, uh, but it's a great case and offers really great cooling as well and just oodles and oodles of water cooling support and things like that but i think that's exactly what what uh michael needs is he needs a bigger case um because he's got a lot of hardware he's taking full advantage of his pc he's got four hard drives in there an ssd two two video cards and um and i'm sure he'd like to slap on possibly a, a larger radiator in there as well maybe even do some custom water cooling um but yeah kudos on on being able to fit all that stuff in there and still uh get some really nice cable management out of it as well. I think it's super clean. Um, I like how he's tactfully tied uh, the unused PCI uh, connectors uh, kind of underneath the cables so that they're kind of like pointed off to the left and they're all facing the same way. It just looks really tidy. Um, it does, definitely. And uh, I even like the attention to detail with uh, the the two blue fan connectors, the, the sleeved fan connectors right right above the power supply going mm-hmm. off over there. Uh, see, that's how small this case is. He doesn't even have any grommets underneath the motherboard to, to slide those in. He's got to go all the way over to the main grommet for the power supply um, to to hide those cables anywhere. Uh, but, yeah, great attention to detail. He's even got a blue SATA connector, uh, SATA, SATA cable back there as well. Um, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Just get a bigger case. Try to get a, a you know, uh, try to match those video cards somehow. I don't know how you're going to do it, but just, just try. Just try it, damn it. Um, and possibly even get a you know a custom decal over your power supply to cover the red AX because it's oh, uh, yeah. clashing a little bit. Um, but you know, or or if you get a case that you know a lot of cases these days will have a shroud that covers the power supply, uh, so you don't see it at all. It's a, you know something that like uh, companies like NZXT like to do because uh, like power supplies are always stealing the show, and we'll just we'll just cover the whole thing and slap an NZXT logo on top of it. Uh, that's how mine is, but mine mine is just stealth. It's uh, the, the Fantex. Yeah. Uh, it is the the Lux, I think. Yeah. Um, here I am looking like a noob because I don't even know the name of the case, but that's sort of it looks po- so totally nice. Yeah, yeah, like hiding that because cable management wise, it's amazing. It looks like yep. crap down there, but you don't even know that, <laughs> so it's great. I like it. That, that, um, oh, like, yeah. Oh, also the other thing I was gonna say, you should have people say the name of their pc you know how like people name uh, their PCs? that's a good idea because i want to know yeah. looking at this build what did he call this because right. i'm thinking clown car but i don't clown know car. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm wondering what what do people call their system so i think that's something people should start doing see matt this is this is exactly why i copied your show because <laughs> you have great ideas and i'm starved <laughs> for them so 
I'm just going to plagiarize everything you do. Uh, but yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, let's thank you, Michael, for the clown car. Uh, I really love it. Um, just work on those few things, and you should be good to go. Let's move on to the next one, and let's let's just try to make up names for these PCs from now on. Oh, I like that. Yeah, That's let's, a good one. let's do it. Uh, we'll make them up for them for this round since uh, they haven't provided any. Uh, this is from Ed from Sapphire. Sapphire Ed. Some of you may know him on Twitter. Uh, he's a he's a vendor rep for Sapphire, the actual company, the actual GPU video card manufacturer. I shouldn't say GPU, but video card uh, uh, all all a uh, uh, board partner. Uh, and Sapphire makes some really great cards. Of course, his system is rocking a Sapphire Vapor X. Sell out. No, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's a 290X. Um, feel free to send me a sample ahead. <laughs> if, if I tell you your system is perfect, is, does that increase my odds of getting a sample 290X or a 390X? Give me that Ooh. XT. Give me a Fiji card. Uh, but this is a, a, a pretty nice setup. I think this is an... Arc MIDI. I want to say it's a fractal Arc MIDI case. Based on the feet, uh, looks a little bit smaller than Define Define R4, Define R5. Uh, oh yeah, it's definitely an Arc MIDI because I can tell from the fr front panel. Um, but uh, beefy beefy video card in there, which I like. Uh, very healthy airflow because it's completely unimpeded. You've got both drive cages removed. Um, there are no drive cages, so you probably got them in the back somewhere. Uh, I think I think he might have mentioned that they were SSDs, which makes a lot of sense because I don't know how you'd fit two three and a halfs back there. Um, but you can see that he's prioritized airflow over storage here, and I think that 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 works. That's a good solution. You know, not everyone's mm -hmm. going to be able to do that because they're going to they're going to need more storage. But uh, Ed doesn't apparently need it so much. Uh, he's prioritizing airflow for that uh, 290X as well as the other components in the system. Um, and he said his card runs pretty damn cool. Like, it doesn't get above 68 Celsius, uh, which is awesome. And also a testament to the uh, the Sapphire cooler in there. Um, but uh, I believe those are Cougar fans as well. Very good uh, airflow and static pressure. Um, but I'd say the only thing here, because your cable management is spot on, Ed. Like, everyone take a lesson from Ed's cable management. Uh, even Like, if you look at the front, the two front fans... You can see like the cabling, the, like the cables meet at the bottom corner of the PC, that, yeah. and they just go. And you, like I didn't even notice it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you have to really look at it. You gotta try to find it. It's like I spy, I spy <laughs> cables in Ed's computer. What? <laughs> Game takes forever. Um, so yeah, I think I think it looks really really nice. Uh, the only thing I would have to say is color coordination. Yep. And yep. I know this isn't a, this isn't a big deal for some people, but it is for me personally. Um, I think, you know, manufacturers now more than ever of almost every component uh, go the extra mile to have their components uh, colored differently, uh, you know, offered in different colors for that reason, because customization has become such a huge thing. Uh, personalization, it is a personal computer after all. Um, and I think uh, it really ties everything together when you have a cohesive color scheme uh, for, all, for your entire system. Um, but, uh, you know, I think it's very functional. This is definitely a very functionally packed uh, rig here that you've got, and I know it probably performs really well. Uh, what, what about you, Matt? What, what else would you say about this system? Well, first off, I'm just laughing at all the different things people are saying about the motherboard color. But mm -hmm. Ed is saying that it's uh, the flash made it look like that. It's actually black, which makes me feel a lot better because uh, okay. that was like really throwing it off for me. Yep. You know, I didn't mind like all the clashing colors because whatever. But when I saw the motherboard, I was like, wow, that looks <laughs> like a, you know, uh, you read the comments. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the colors at the end of the day, if you're really like nitpicking, I mean, it's really it's like a rainbow in there. So I would uh, definitely figure that out. And I don't like the. Wait, is this windowed? I don't know. Is it a windowed yes, case? Yes, yeah, it's got a tinted window on it. Okay. So can you see the power supply from that? Or is it the way it's cut? I believe really the window is a little bit above it. You'd have to like be like right really close okay. and looking down to really see it. Yeah. All right, yeah, because the power supply with that label there just yes. throws me off. But if you can't see it, then I guess it's really not an issue at all. So. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, cable management's like 10 out of 10. It's, it's yep. really nice. Exactly. So, uh, I, job, I, I would definitely agree. Um, the last critique I would say is, and, you know, kind of uh, repeating ourselves here, but, um, Ed, when's the last time you cleaned your system? I can uh, see those fans are uh, 
getting some build up right there which is a good sign. It means you love your system and that you have been using it frequently. I can also see that you used a cloth or your finger to wipe off whatever dust was on the power supply because I can see like a clean line that was just, it had just been wiped, that, that top layer. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, all, all together a really solid system, Ed. Uh, looks, looks really nice. And uh, mm. thank you for officially agreeing to send me a 290X. <laughs> Everyone, everyone heard it, right? Right here on stream. I heard it. Yeah. Matt I heard got it. your pack. Yep. Uh, there you go. I have a witness. Uh, all right. Cool. So let's move on to Simon. Uh, thanks for that, Ed. Uh, Simon's got his budget build here. All it says is my budget build. And uh, thank you for letting us know that this is in fact a budget build. Um, and it looks like you've definitely done a lot here for for a budget system. Uh, you've got an SSD in there, which I think is great if you're able to. Uh, get something that is super affordable that you think is a budget build and still throw an SSD in. I think that's awesome. Um, again, we've got a Sapphire card here. Not not quite the VaporX cooler uh, that we saw on Beef's uh, on Beef's on Ed's beefy <laughs> card <laughs> on Beef's Eddie card. <laughs> Thanks for sending that in, Beef. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we've officially lost all control. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, moving back to the system, this... What were you saying, Kyle? <laughs> I don't know. I can't even think straight anymore. Oh, God. Someone help me. Uh, but I, I think uh, cable management, again, you know, um, it's probably tough because I can tell this is a budget case for sure. Uh, you can tell it's just... Maybe a little bit on, on the cheaper side, like cheap, cheaply made. <laughs> what? I can't read the chat. They're, they're just now seeing it, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm no. Just put the mic away for a second. <clears throat> I think we've just invented a meme. Oh, no. All right. I, I'm minimizing chat. This is not yeah, good. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> we will not be able to do the show. <laughs> Been struggling as it is. <clears throat> All right, focus. Woo, focus. I'm gonna take a sip here. Everyone, take a moment. Everyone, take there a moment. Go. Moment of silence. Mm. Okay. Center your chi. Yeah. There you go. Bring it back down. <laughs> How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving back to this system, um, as I was saying, it's a cheaper case, and typically with cheaper cases, they don't give you much leeway in terms of cable management. They give you really small space behind that motherboard tray. Uh, Matt, you were super privileged to build in the Enthu Lux. Amazing oh, case for cable management. I mean, you won't yep. see a damn thing if you don't want to. Um, not so much the case with these budgets, uh, budget chassis. Uh, you know, he probably paid 40, 60 bucks for this guy. So he's probably got, I want to say, like half an inch to, you know, down to five millimeters of space back there. Um, and you really got to, you really got to, you know, it's it's a it's a valiant effort to to get all the cables hidden in, in cases like this. But um, yeah, you've also got some interesting stuff here. This this uh, layout um, calls for a, a top mounted power supply as opposed to a bottom mounted one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if there's ventilation at the top of your case there. Uh, if there is, I might flip the the power supply uh, 180 degrees just to have the ventilation. Um, in taking fresh air from outside instead of sucking up hot air from inside your case uh, as it runs through your the componentry of your power supply it might just be a bit healthier uh, overall but like I said it's it's a budget case so you might not have much to work with there might not be ventilation holes at the top there um, you could do some modding I mean as a fun yeah. project you know it depends how much effort you want to put in you probably see a really small return for the amount of work that you put in but you know if you're kind of into the, that uh, DIY you know modding uh, scene or whatever, and you want to try something new, might be something cool to do. Other than that, you know, I, I can't I can't knock you too hard for the cable management because I know the type of ch chassis you're, you're building in. I've built in, you know, several of them before, and I know it's difficult. Um, I think you're, you're also... I, I, I don't think you... I also don't think you mind uh, color coordination much. Uh, it doesn't look like yeah. you care too much about it. I know... I think there's LEDs in there. You've got some blue LEDs in the case, so... Clearly, you, you're leaning towards blue, of all the things, of all the colors. Yeah. Um, but you've also got Noctua fans in there, which, by the way, don't don't take them out. I, I would never remove a Noctua fan for aesthetics purpose for aesthetic purposes. Um, they're hideous. 
Don't get me wrong. I think there's very <laughs> few systems out there where a Noctua fan un, that's not been modded or modified in any way looks good um, with, with the rest of the build. But uh, that being said, maybe you could spray paint the frames or, or, or the, and, and the blades uh, if you really wanted to give it a, you know, an overall blue or black theme. Um, I also think it's kind of funny. Did you notice, Matt, that he's got two different colored <clears throat> dims in there, like his memory? There's, oh, yeah. There's a blue one and a black one. I've got a name for the system, Black and oh. Blue. Wow, didn't see that one coming. Yeah, right? Yeah. Or or my second choice was Rihanna. Um, Rihanna? Rihanna, oh. a- after, you know, yeah. Chris Brown wow. Rihanna, I guess. Too soon. It, it was a while ago. Too soon. Still too soon. <laughs> still, it'll always be too soon. <laughs> yeah. Um, everyone go tweet that to Rihanna. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Make her relive the past. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, what have we done? I do like Rihanna though. That's a good. That's a good name for it. So right, that should stick. Yeah. Yep, I like it. Might need to. <laughs> might have put, Might need to put a few dents there in the <laughs> in, the, oh in the side panel just to, <laughs> just to bring out the theme. You know, yeah. like to mod it. You, you got to make it worthy of the name. <laughs> just, yeah, the, the, this PC though. Um, I guess I'll I'll get back on topic for you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank yeah, you. it's. It, like you said, I, I never built in anything like this, so I don't know how bad it, it is. Um, but yeah, it's like crisscross. And it, but then again, I'm sure you're you're reaching, you're really struggling to get it to where it needs to go. So I can only imagine what that's like. Um, I, I don't know. Is there really anything he could do in the bottom because it's just so open and empty? Or is it? I mean, I guess it's good for airflow, but. Yeah, I mean, kind of not, I mean, there's really nothing down there other than the SSD, so. Right. I mean, it, it, it almost looks like because there's so, like, there's basically nothing in the bottom mm-hmm. and he's got the power supply on top, it looks very top heavy. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like if it were to, like, if there was a, a marginal earthquake or something, that it could oh, easily, gosh. you know, it, it just looks really top heavy. And I don't know yeah. what you could really do about that. Um, it's just awkward. It's very yeah. weird. It's going to be so. a bit difficult, like, feeling awkward when you're you know, hauling it from A to B or whatever, uh, picking it up and things like that. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't know what you could really do to, to solve that problem in this case. I mean, I, I think yeah. that's just one of the sacrifices you make for, you know, buying a really cheap case and, and saving a bunch of money. Um, on the bright side, if you do have, like, a fan mount at the front, because chances are maybe this, this case only came with, like, one exhaust fan or no, no intakes at the front. Slap a fan on there uh, if you haven't already and just drive some more airflow to your video card. Um, that's all I could say. And uh, I, 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 I was also kind of curious to... Because, you know, you see a CPU cooler. And it's got that mm-hmm. knock to a fan, that tan knock to a fan to the left. Usually I would suggest putting it to the right of the cooler and blowing the hot air towards the rear of the case. So that that, that that rear fan can exhaust uh, the hot air coming off your, your heat sink there. But I think in this case, it looks like he probably didn't have room for it on the right. On the right side, mm. I think his, he was, he'd probably run into some RAM clearance issues uh, if he were to try to install that fan on the right. Um, all, I, all I have to say is I hope that fan that's attached to your CPU cooler is set to pull and not push. Uh, every all the airflow should be going the same direction, so it should be pushing. Or I'm sorry, pulling air to the back of your case, exiting out that rear Noctua fan that you've got there, um, and you should be good to go. But uh, Simon, a lovely budget build. Um, perhaps one day you can. Uh, you know, that's the beauty of PCs. You start with a budget build <laughs> or something really uh, low key, and you can work your way up. You know, um, start installing component after component over the years, over several months or whatever. Eventually, get a nicer case. Um, and your your cables will look a hell of a lot better uh, because of it. So, thank you, sir. Yeah, appreciate it. And uh, moving on to Dylan, are we? Are we st- are, I'm still scared to look at the chat. I mean, yeah, it, it's calmed down a bit. So okay, it's good. good. It's good. Okay, good. You guys are you guys are terrible, by the way. You guys are just <laughs> trying to sabotage the whole stream. <laughs> Don't you know that Matt and I will self sabotage the stream without your help? Exactly. That's, right. I, that's that's the only reason why I came on here. Exactly. That's what I'm looking to do. <laughs> no, you're, you're you're here to revive me. You're here to pull me out of my <laughs> dark place when shit like that happens. <laughs> I need an anchor, Matt. Be my anchor. <laughs> you're actually my sponsor. Yeah, exactly. For AA. Okay, anyway. <laughs> getting off topic here. Um, this is from Dylan. Dylan, thank you for sending in the system. Uh, it's a custom water-cooled rig. You've got a lot going on here. Um, oh, yeah. And... I 
I'll be honest, I'm going to level with you guys. I've never built a custom water-cooled system myself from the ground up. I've helped people build their systems, uh, and, you know, I've, I've done things like mounting mounting certain components um, and installing things, but I've never done the full thing myself from start to finish. So when it comes to custom water-cooled builds, I always feel like I don't, I'm not like, you know, in the right, I, I don't have the authority to really comment too much on it, but I can give my general opinions based on looks uh, and the very little, you know, the brief knowledge of what I do have, do know about it. Um, so again, if we're, if we're talking aesthetics, I just said this, the, the Noctua fans don't look good in, in 99% of the cases or the, the systems I've seen. They just don't. That said, they are amazing fans and they perform better than, than most fans out there, uh, albeit for a, for a premium price. But um, I think, I think you, can, you can do a lot here. Uh, the one thing that stands out to me, well, I guess I, guess I should finish what I was saying about the fans. Um, again, spray paint them or... Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I would do. Spray paint them or or make the rest of your system the color of the Noctua fans. Like make the rest of your components yeah. beige. Like how did they do that? Like cuz it's just I... no one has a build that that matches that color scheme, you know? Right. No, I don't it's think anyone's explicit. got a system that's like let's let's do desert camo. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. I've let's never seen the worst colors. Yeah. <laughs> do do a desert camo mod. That's I, that's now... my solution. Dylan. Someone's gonna end up doing it now. You're I know. See it. Desert desert mod with with Noctua fans. It's the only thing that'll look good. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Spray paint your radiator beige. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What do you want from me? Um, <laughs> okay. Here's here's maybe one more uh, serious piece of advice. Is I, I I would probably go with a solid color fluid for your loop because I think. When it's clear, it just it tends to, to look murky or cloudy yep. over time, um, and some people might not mind that. But I, I personally just it, it feels dirty to me, or feels you know, like like you should it should be replaced. It doesn't look fresh. It should look mm -hmm. fresh. Um, so maybe I don't know. Get some beige fluid. Get some brown fluid. You could call it. Oh, yeah. You could call it the plumber or something. I was gonna say. <laughs> You don't even need to go buy your fluid. You you could just you know figure <laughs> oh, that out yourself. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just hey I don't know. It's not a budget build, but the last guy if he looks to do some water cooling, you know. Just, just go distill your own feces, <laughs> liquefy it, and drop it into that bad boy. Yeah, you can do that pretty quick too. The plumber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go go ahead. Leave your, leave your guys' best names for these PCs in the chat. Yeah, I want to see what people have to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, the septic tank. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. Nice. <laughs> Who said that? That was Ed. No, I'm sorry, good Beef. Good job, Beef. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Beef got Ed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I never that was like the best mistake. The know. best mistake ever. Like, how could you I know, call you... someone Beef? But how would I even make that mistake? Mis that mistake. could be taken so many different ways. Like oh. Beef or like <laughs> Beef, you know? Like, <laughs> uh, but here, I'll, I'll get you back on, on track. I do agree yeah. about the, the, it looks cloudy with the chance of Beef balls. You know, you never know. <laughs> so it, it does look a little, like, especially, I don't know, it, it just looks gross i don't know i don't know what's wrong with it yeah it looks gross. And and i don't know anything about water cooling so no i i, I agree and, and maybe some of it is attributed to the flash of the camera i know flash tends to do weird things True. um but i i have known you know that this is a problem with uh, clear fluid and cl clear tubing uh mm -hmm. and I, I i would have to guess that changing the fluid is much easier at this point than swapping out all of your tubing um that seems like a total hassle and you know a, a full day project um so i don't know maybe just drain the whole thing swap it out with some uh some solid fluid and then uh also maybe replace those dims uh the memory modules maybe with uh with some black ones because you've Agreed. you know you've uh you, you made the effort to to get some black sleeving in there uh and it does look it does look quite nice i like how the the power supply i think you've recolored it possibly uh to match the noctua fan so it shows me you're trying. You want to make yeah. this work. You want you're conforming your system to the Noctua fan color, and I think that's awesome because probably not many people actually are have have the balls to take on that challenge. Yeah. Yeah. So do it. Make it work. Do it, son. Thank you, Dylan. 
Appreciate it, brother. Uh, by the way, it is 6.30. It's been an hour, so I am going to... We're going to do two more of these. You cool with that, Matt? I'm I'm down. You're down. All right. Yeah, just uh, I don't want to go too crazy on you guys. People start getting cranky because it's like midnight somewhere else or 3 a.m. <laughs> like, Neh. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up with these last two, say some closing words, and then, uh, then we'll be out. So this one's from Juan. Juan, thank you for sending this in. This is his Air 240 from Corsair. Uh, that's the case. Uh, and he said he tried his best to tidy it up. Um, and it does look very tidy, actually. I like it. Yeah. yeah. This, the, I, hmm, I, I might not have too much to say about this. Uh, again, with the uh, the Corsair Link cable coming out the, the left side of your water block, you, you, you kind of, this is a better picture to show you what I mean. It just adds another cable that's going, you know, a different way. So if you could route <laughs> that over to the fan cable that's coming out of the top of your water block right there, uh, and maybe even tuck it underneath you know, just zip tie it really tight. You know, you can get some z uh, really thin uh, zip ties that uh, are very discreet. Black, obviously, would work would work nicely. Uh, and just get that sucker out of the way. Um, but altogether, this is kind of cool. I, I think maybe also if I'm getting, you know, nitpicky here, uh, you've got some red PCIe cables, but you've got a black ATX cable. Um, I would say either do black and black or red and red. And I'm going to yeah. suggest red and red because you've got red dims already. Uh, and which looks sick. Which looks really nice. Um, yeah. However, Matt, do you notice anything about this system that, that we thought about, uh, that, we, that we noticed with Ed system? We were actually wrong about Ed system uh, on, this, on this presumption, but it, it might be the case for this one. Now you're making me look dumb. Uh, Something with the PCB, possibly. Words. It, it looks brown. The piece, the motherboard oh. looks brown. Well, I don't do you know. think that's because of flash too, or? I that's a good question. Uh, I I don't see the model number. I don't see the. It does exact look like poo poo, but. Here. Yeah, it, please the, in the chat. The top looks black. The top does look black. See what I'm saying? Uh, it yeah. looks black at the top, and they kind of it's like a gradient almost. Guys in chat, He's... let us know if if this is a poo poo board or if it's a. <laughs> uh, uh, a black... well, he is in chat right now. He oh, okay. said that he tried to uh, bend that cable, and uh -huh. uh, it doesn't it doesn't want to be bent. It so. Doesn't want to be bent. Yeah, All it's right. like no, Kyle, get over it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know, right? <laughs> yeah, you stupid corset link cable. <laughs> Shit it. Um, okay, so he's saying people are saying that it's possibly black. 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 Okay, so it's just the flash. Um, see, next time when you guys send in your pictures, I want you to buy like a two hundred dollar lighting kit. <laughs> Make sure that shit's lit properly, all right? I want no camera phone shit. Yeah, exactly. Like some, get some expensive-ass lights when you send in your tweets. Because it's worth it. Um, yeah. Altogether, though, Juan, this is a nice-looking system. Uh, and it looks... I don't know if you cleaned it right before you took the shot. I'm sure a lot of people do that. But if not, kudos to you for keeping a really clean-looking system. I don't see a speck of dust on there. Um... If you had the lighting kit, I'd be able to see if there was dust. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to let that one slide because your cable management's on point. Next week, though. Next week. Next week. We shall see. All right. Yeah, thanks, no, I agree. Yeah. That's nice. It's yeah. That's good. Well done, sir. And last but not least, this one's from Moshi. Uh, he says he was planning on replacing the orange fan, and yes, he hasn't cleaned in months. Okay. So he's just told uh, us from the get-go, look, I know up. this thing is dirty as hell. Um, but that's okay. I'm glad that you were up front with us so we didn't have to speculate or whatever. Um, and it looks like we've got another ARC MIDI case here from Fractal. Um, awesome cases. Uh, we, we tend to see a lot of Fractal cases on the show um, just because they're awesome. They're, they're really well built uh, functionally, have good airflow, they're silent, and they're pretty damn affordable as well. So I'm not surprised we see so many of them on here. Um, but this one looks like he's removed the top drive cage, uh, opened up the airflow, that top fan there. I think that's a smart move, um, just taking advantage of all the airflow. Uh, also, I, I mean, what color is that motherboard? <laughs> <laughs> it does, that one, I, I don't know, because there's no gradient effect on that one for me. Right, I'm right. I'm seeing it just poo poo basically. Just, just poo all around. You got a yeah. poo board, my friend. Which wouldn't surprise me, because I mean, looking at all the dust, he might like it dirty. You know. It, that's a good point. I mean, That's look at that point. SSD. Uh, I just kind of like want to put my finger over it and see how much dust comes off. 
It's kind of satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. When you just like see all of it and it's nice and clean. That's probably what he did right after he took the pictures. Like, and now it's just me yeah. and you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> sweaty, like drawing images, oh, yeah. penises, smiley inside faces. The desk. Oh, yep. Or the extreme opposite of a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes uh, the two and two go hand in hand. You know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> what else do you have to say? Getting us back on track here. What, what else do you have to say about this system, dude? Well, some people are saying it's a poo-poo board. Um, and I only saw one person say it's black. So, I mean, overall, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Boohoo, like I said. It's it's uh, it's nice. I, there's really – I would really just want to see it nice and clean. Just wipe it yeah. off, clean it up. Um, I mean, a little clash of colors, but there's really nothing too dominant for me to be like, why didn't you just follow through with that? So mm -hmm. it's just a – it looks like a nice, you know, build with random parts basically. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, it also kind of looks like he might have a micro ATX board in there. Uh, that's a that's a full ATX chassis, but he might be a micro ATX board. Um, so I think that's the only reason why the like all of his uh, I/O, his like all of his uh, front panel connectors at the bottom mm -hmm. of his motherboard have to reach such a far distance to get yeah. into those grommets is because it's just a smaller board than uh, the case was. Potentially intended for, uh, but that's okay. Uh, again, yeah, I think cleaning it up would be good. Also, that looks like a a GTX 980 in there, but you know what? It might be a 960 as well. Um, all I'm gonna say is, if it does happen to be based on the other components, how they look pretty budget, especially the power supply, I'm gonna guess it's a 960. And if that's the case, solid, well done. Uh, if it's a 980, I think you might need to be careful on that power supply. Just make sure that you, if you're overclocking, I would definitely get uh, a higher rated power supply, um, at least a 500 watt at the very least. Uh, and that doesn't even factor into what your CPU might be. Uh, and if you're overclocking on that as well, just want to make sure that, you know, no one blows out their, their hardware or you know, catches on fire. Although that, hmm. that would be a, an awesome picture for, for yeah. the show. Just a melted, half-melted system. You never know. You never know what <laughs> yeah. you're gonna get. I'm sure you. Exactly. I'm sure you've gotten some pretty ridiculous pictures of setups. In yeah. Your, like since you started the show, right? Disgusting. Like literally to the point where, you know, even the guy told me, yeah, that that uh, that plate on the floor under my desk has been there for about six months, and I just didn't feel like picking <laughs> it up. I'm like, well, at least you let me know, and now I know. So thank you. Disgusting. Wow. That's that's yeah. not even pimping at that point. That's just like offering general help. Yeah, like it's sit. it's like you need Consuela from freaking Family Guy to come in and just clean it up. You know, <laughs> it's like okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's 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 pretty gnarly. But uh, yeah. luckily, we didn't have any any instances of that. Like like you said, there's always next week. Who knows what kind of horrors we might find exactly. in these PCs? I'm just waiting for like a like a. Like someone's finger, like just a decapitated finger in one of them. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's been there for months. It's just, <laughs> Not it's, even mine. That's the funny part. It's, it's Rihanna's. I, <laughs> oh Chris God. Brown. They got back together. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. That's and that's our cue to uh, to wind things down here. Um, again, Moshi, thank you for sending that in, and thank you to all of you other guys who sent pictures in. Uh, there was probably. Three, six, nine. There's probably almost almost a ten or a dozen more of you that we didn't get to today uh, because it just would have taken too long. But I'm gonna save them on file. Don't worry if you didn't get picked for this week because uh, it will. We will be back with the show next week as well. Um, Matt, again, thank you so much for coming on. I really loved having you on. I'm sure the rest of the chat did as well. Uh, you've been awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on, man. Yeah, for sure. And uh, please, if you want to plug your, your channels once more in case anyone missed the beginning of the show, go ahead and tell them where they can find you. YouTube.com slash SwashingTV. Go there, and then you'll be able to find me. You know, description, I link everything. So bada bing, bada boom, there you go. For sure. Awesome. Sweet. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will be doing an after party tonight. I will be streaming uh, either some GTA Five or I recently acquired a key for Insurgency which I have never played before, obviously. Uh, I might install that, depending on how long it takes. I might do some streaming of that as well. But there will be an after party. Matt, do you happen to have either of those games on PC? I have both. You have both? Ooh! Both. Insane. Ooh! I, yeah. I, I should have mentioned this to you earlier, but uh, that's typically what Paul and I will do. We'll, we'll do the stream, mm. and then uh, maybe an hour to an hour and a half later, once we've had dinner and stuff, we, uh, we start playing some games, we do some streaming, 
people in chat. It, it's fun stuff. Uh, if you're down to join us, we would love to have you, or I would love to have you. Obviously, I'm the only one here. Um, but I'm down. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've got a game vox that we all go into with uh, Fractal Josh, um, some other notable characters oh. on the Twitters as well. Um, so I can uh, give you all the information once we once we sign off. But, Sounds uh, awesome. All right, cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next week. Remember, it's 5:30 p.m. Pacific time at twitch.tv slash awesome hardware. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to toss me a like if you enjoyed it, and we will see you all in the next video. See you guys later.